machine and your host, John Davidson. Thanks to Charlie Tudor. Here we are back with the Tube Game. Look at this wonderful set. We've enjoyed for so long. Gang, we're going to find out how much you know about what was on television in the magical year. Today it's 1964. Ooh, that was a big year in my life. I hope it was in yours. I hope you're watching live television. Each question is worth one point. The first player to get to five points wins the game. And when you win two games today, look what you'll win. Charlie? It's things for your dad. First, Roy Hill's passive roll top deck in matching oak chair are constructed of oak solids and oak veneer. It features several drawers, letter file compartments, and lock file drawer. Furnished by Roy Hill. And up right in your office, it's Stiffles Art Deco style table lamp. Combined ceramic and brass finished fittings for today's look. Space pleated chain adds extra dimension to this handcrafted design. Furnished by Stiffles. This prize package is valued at $1,565. Oh, yeah. Good luck to both of you. First, we're talking about ABC. I'm talking about a show that was on ABC in 64. Hands on your buzzers. Tell me when you know the answer. This was a primetime soap opera. It was based on a racy novel written by Grace, yes, Blonnie. Peyton Place. That is right. How did you get that? Because I'm talking to these guys right now about it. Very nice. Over to NBC, hands your buzzers. This was an adventure series starring Robert Vaughn as a secret agent fighting the international crime syndicate. Thrush was it, yes, Blonnie. Man from Uncle. That is right. <laughs> Yeah, I would look out. She did nothing but watch TV at 64, I think. That's, she stayed home a lot and watched. She's my babysitter. CBS <laughs> in 1964, this show. It was a situation comedy about a group whose boat, the Minnow, what, yes, Lonnie? Gilligan's Island. That is right! Look out for her, Edward. She knows how to hit that buzzer. Now, she has three points you need. Uh, first one to get to five wins, so jump in there. Questions about those three shows. Take a look at that picture, Peyton Place. Who played Allison McKenzie? Was it Scott? Yes. Mia what? Farrow. Mia Farrow is right. <laughs> you have four points, one more, and you have won the desk and the chair and the lamp, and you'll have two games. Good luck, Edward. <laughs> take, a, take a look at that picture. Oh, I just did that. Okay, Peyton Place. Who played Rodney Herring? Yes, Lonnie. Ryan O'Neill. What was that, your favorite show? Oh, <laughs> played that very well. All right, you've won two games. You have the desk in the chair and the lamp, plus $900. Edward, don't feel bad. She was a lot nicer to me back then. <laughs> That's great. You will have a chance to catch up right after this, and I'll tell you why. Our last game is worth double. So you could win this, get into the tiebreaker, and still go in that challenge round. All right, stay with us. It's getting good now. Thank you, Charlie. We're back. And, of course, Ron is sitting pretty good here. He's got two games. He feels sassy. And, Edward, <laughs> you, it's your turn to catch up. He's a right. driven man now. He driven. wants to win. I want to drive. Get ready for the jukebox game. Here it is. Just know about popular music, right? The more you know about it, the better you'll do here. We have four jukeboxes, and fortunately, on our last show, it is the 50s, my favorite decade in music. 1950 on the first one, 1952, 1954, and 1957. Boy, we had some good music then. Put the right song in the right jukebox, and here's what you'll win. A fabulous trip to romantic Two of you, a trip from Los Angeles to Paris for a week's stay at the ultra-modern Hotel St. Jacques on the exciting left bank. With 800 rooms, four restaurants, and shopping galleries, enjoy gourmet food and famous French hospitality. Furnished by PLM Hotel St. Jacques in Paris. Total value of this exciting prize, $3,313. believe it. Come on in. I don't know how we can give that away. Uh, our budget must be just shot to hell. I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's wonderful. All right, each song is worth one point. The first player to get three points is the winner. Ready with our first record? Hands on your buzzers. Who is singing this song? Couldn't it breathe to the fire? Yes, Edward. Jerry Lee Lewis. Jerry Lee Lewis is right. Woo! 
You have earned the right to tell us what year did Jerry Lee Lewis record Goodness Gracious Great Ball of Fire? Uh, I'm going to go with 54. No, that is uh, not it. Over to you, Blondie. You're still alive. Okay, 1957. 57 is right. Very nicely played. Okay, it is one nothing. First to get the three wins. Remember, you were down to three jukeboxes. Who is singing this song? Hey there, this you is the stars because it's either Doris Day or Rosemary Clooney, and they stop. Yes, Lonnie. Rosemary Clooney. Rosemary Clooney is right. <laughs> she knows a lot more than just paper towels. <laughs> she sings so well. Rosemary Clooney sang "Hey There" from the uh, Pajama Game, I think, a hit record from that show. Okay, what year did Rosemary Clooney put out that record? 1952. No, that is not it. It's over to you, Edward. Two left. 50 or 54? Uh, how about 50? How about 54? Oh, uh, uh, heck, it goes back to you. Heck for Edward, good for Bonnie. You've got two points. One more, Bonnie, and you're going into our challenge round. You will have won this game. Hey, in there, Edward, we're rooting for you. Of course, neither one of you was alive in the 50s, were you? I think, or just barely. You were only alive. 55. Later, later. Right. A little later. All right. Who is singing this song? That is either Vic Damone or Mario Lanza. Nobody has an answer. All right, we go on to our next one. I'll tell you, it was Mario Lanza. Vic Damone sings well, but oh, you kid. And I'll tell you that it was from 1950. All right, we move along. Now the game moves faster because all we need is the artist. Here they come. Who is singing this song? Cause it's witchcraft. It's either Tony Bennett or... Yes, Tony Bennett. Bennett. No, it is not. Oh. Automatically, it goes over the blind. Oh. He's going to pass. It is witchcraft, sung by Frank Sinatra. Oh, Edward, I'm so sorry. You played so well. It was a joy having you here. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for being on the show. Thank, you, Thank you for those good words that you brought us at the top of the show. Thank you very much. Stick around, though. Don't leave you at Blonnie. Who for? You, I guess so. You have won $900 in cash, a desk, a chair, and a lamp that are beautiful, a trip to Paris, plus you're going into our challenge round right after this. We'll be right back.